Hey everybody, uh, first thanks for joining me on Mind Your Own Business. Today I want to talk about pet peeves. And found this, which is kind of cool, 25 pet peeves, sure to make you twitch. Uh, it says your twitch, but I think it means you. Um, but don't discount that, there's a cool list. Not eating and drinking, double dipping, cracking gum, cracking knuckles, fanatics. Um, people who are late, stealing your food, etc. cetera. Um, I am someone who has a fair number of pet peeves uh, to the point to where it's irritating to myself. And I've been trying to figure out ways to mitigate those, you know, reduce them in sort of their intensity. And I've recently found something I want to share with you. So it's called positive intelligence or PQ, you know, sort of like IQ intelligence, right? And then EQ, emotional intelligence. So this is positivity. And it's really about how we manage ourselves. And this centers around your saboteurs, which I'm gonna click there for you guys. And there are saboteurs and the judge is a big one. There are others that are saboteurs that cause us unconsciously. You know, it's not our fault. Uh, it is our responsibility, though, to try to mitigate them. And so what I would suggest, if you, this at all speaks to you, um, and my goal is to put out stuff that, you know, might speak to some part of your life and help you get better, um, check out this website and look for the test. You can take a test, uh, and I think that's under program. Um, and you can learn how to intercept your pet peeves and then work on not being so stressed, not being so reactive. So it's a really cool um, tool. Um, and so I commend this to you. So if this is helpful, great. Positive intelligence, a way to intercept the action that happens when you feel a pet peeve. I know it's working for me. I'm early in this. I hope to get better and better and better. So that's it. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day.